Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we're gonna to do some crafting because Rapunzel is here at the top of her castle. And, well, tower, it's not really a castle. And down the bottom is Flynn and he just kind of can't climb at the moment and she's supposed to have super duper long hair but in her Lego mini doll form she's just got this gorgeous big thick plait which is appropriate for playing with her because it would be really really hard to do lots of play if she had an enormous amount of hair but it's just not right. It's not Rapunzel hair. So we're going to use this light air drying clay. I just got this one from Kmart and it's it's so cheap. So we're going to end up using all of this yellow, I think. So long hair. Here we go. You're going to have to bear with me because it's going to look really kind of weird to start with, but it will take shape as we go along. So first up, we're going to make a nice big sausage and we're just going to go pat, 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 pat until it's nice and gently connected with her current hair piece. And there are actually going to be lots of sausages we're going to be making here. So this is going to be the foundation of her hair. It's going to be the strength. And then we're going to add lots of detail and lots of little strands of hair to make it look, well, more hair-like. So this one's gone this far, this piece. We're just going to attach it here a bit just so that it can hold. But it will come off the tower after it's dried. The air dry clay doesn't actually stick to things, which is really cool. So another sausage. Now for another big, thick tendril of hair. Still looking kind of funky, but you'll see this will turn out okay. I hope anyway. A nice big long one here. Maybe this one will make it all the way to the ground. Maybe not. Nope, we're going to need another one. Another big long one and we're going to tuck that in behind and just curl them around a bit so that it starts to look a bit like hair <laughs> and not sausages. <laughs> okay, we're getting some tendrils on now. This is really, it's going to take some good shape. We got, we've, we've reached the bottom and we'll just tuck that over here, try and give it a bit of movement, a bit of motion. It still looks really dodgy up here around her actual face. So this is where we're going to really concentrate on the detail. So more pat, 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 patting. This clay is so super soft when it's nice and fresh. So it squishes down a little bit too quickly for my liking, but I'll see how I go. I've put kind of a fringe in see whether I don't squish that as I'm trying to put more things in and I just want to balance it up with one tendril here on the other side oh that's stuck on there we go I've unstuck it there I have squished her fringe <laughs> and another big long strand of hair here and we'll just smooth it in and on lots of smoothing lots of patting and lots of just kind of shaping with little pointy sausages it's already starting to look pretty good, except, uh, except for her fringe there. That, oh, now I've squished it. Right, let's just take that off completely. And I'm going to make some teeny tiny pointy sausages just to give some definition here around the front of her hairpiece. I'm just run into her tower, knocked everything, but everything's still in good shape. It's all good, people. <laughs> it's still all good. And that looks heaps better there. Now we'll just squish this in round the side so it doesn't just look like a big lump. It's all about shaping as we go and stepping back every now and then and having a look and seeing where we need to add some more and where we need to poke in some more to give it a more realistic shape. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Let's uh, we'll go back we'll go back to the top again later but let's see how we're going down here. We're going to, all of these, oh, it's so soft. All of my little pointy end bits are busy drooping. I'm going to try and add a little bit of definition now. It's just some little stripes in it with my toothpick, but I'm actually just squashing it. Let's see. Uh, I am actually just squashing it at the moment. And you, you probably can't really see this because it's such a light colored clay. It'll be a bit hard to see this definition. We'll just poke this in a little bit more. That's a bit better. In fact, I think I might just draw on it with the end of the toothpick. It's so soft that it's actually not cutting too much. Oh, not cutting too much into the clay when I draw with the pointy end. And I can just pat it down again if I make 
if I actually cut up into the clay. And all these little tendrily bits are just drooping because everything's too soft. But I'll keep trying to convince them to sit out where I want them to be. So lots and lots of little hair stripes. We'll curl this around, see if it's going to stay up. And more hair stripes down here. And that's looking pretty good. I think it's looking a bit, uh, it's a bit empty down the bottom. So I'm just going to curl this over and I'm going to add some more, some more down the bottom. The top I'm going to leave pretty much alone. And we're going to add some more nice big long hair tresses. We'll just blend this in up the top. That's my trusty toothpick. Such a cheap tool, so useful. And I will try and convince this to go where I want it to go. It's not going to sit up, is it? It's just going to droop. Gravity is working <laughs> against me. <laughs> but it looks really cute. We do need some more thickness down the bottom. So if I add this, it's not really the right shape to add it easily. We'll point the top in so it's easy to blend it onto our existing hairpiece down here. Very nice. Very nice. So we've reached the bottom. We just need a bit more. And the danger here now is that I'm going to keep fiddling with it too long and I might overdo it or I might actually add too much. In fact, I think I made this not look too much, make it look a little bit like an octopus down the bottom. So if I put all these little hair strands together, now it kind of looks like it's all hit the bottom and then spread out at the end. So it's nice and thin and pointy at the end of the hair. Let's coax these little bits up and these little bits out. All right, I think, I think the hair is not quite dry yet. So Flynn's not going to climb it yet, but I'm really happy with how this has all turned out. Now, if I have been very clever when this dries, so 24 hours later, we should be able to take this off so that we can still play with the mini doll because I've got a spare Rapunzel hairpiece, but I'll have now a big long hairpiece that I can take on and off if I've done a good job. I have, I am so excited. So I now have got some super long hair that I can use for Rapunzel when she's doing her Rapunzel-y towery stuff. And when I just want to play with her normally, I can put her other normal hairpiece on. Actually, if I had been even smarter, I would have used one of my spare Stephanie hairpieces. So just any sort of blonde hairpiece, because the Rapunzel hairpieces, they're not so common. But that's okay. It's all worked out terribly beautifully. I'm super impressed and proud that this worked out the way I envisioned it and it didn't just turn into a massive fail because it could have been a very spectacular fail, but it wasn't. It worked out well today. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please run and click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Give me a like if you enjoy my craft videos because that way I know that I should make some more and I've got so many plans and I'm going to see you with a new video you know very, very soon. Bye!